And now, actually, this week, the object is approaching the closest uh, distance from the sun. Um, that's on October 29th. And the problem is we can't observe it from Earth because it's on the opposite side of of the sun. So when you look at the sun during the daytime right now, the uh, three eye atlas is uh, uh, flying behind it, perhaps for a reason, you know, if it's a technological object, that's the best time for it to do a maneuver when it's closest to the sun, to take advantage of the sun's gravity. That's what we do with our own spacecraft. We have now entered the most critical and suspenseful phase of the three eye atlas encounter, and we are being forced to navigate it blind. According to Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, the perihelion on October 29, 2025, represents the single most optimal moment for an intelligently controlled craft to reveal its nature. If it's a technological object, Loeb states, with chilling pragmatism, that's the best time for it to do a maneuver. Yet, at this precise moment of peak opportunity, a deeply suspicious data blackout has been imposed. A key, high-resolution image of the object, captured nearly a month ago on October 2nd by the powerful high-rise camera on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, remains inexplicably withheld by NASA. Uh, we uh, obtained a very high-resolution image from the high-rise camera on board the, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. That's a mission that NASA launched uh, a while ago, and uh, that camera should give us a, a, an even a crispier uh, image than the one from the Hubble telescope by a factor of three. So we are waiting for that. The problem is the image was taken on October 2nd and uh, that's the day after the government shut down and the claim is that because of the shutdown NASA is unable to release the data even though it's almost a month now. With the agency citing the long-concluded government shutdown as the reason for the delay. This has created an informational void at the worst possible time leaving the world to wonder what was on that image that we are not being allowed to see. Professor Loeb has framed the stakes in no uncertain terms, warning that this is a potential black swan event with consequences so profound that if the object does emerge from behind the sun on a new trajectory, the stock market may crash. This is not hyperbole. It is a sober assessment of the global systemic shock that would accompany the confirmation of advanced non-human technology operating in our solar system. The situation is a blind date of interstellar proportions, Loeb warns, and yet we are being denied our most crucial sensory data. This high-level alert is not based on pure speculation, but on a dossier of impossibilities that have defined 3i Atlas since its discovery. From its 1 in 500 chance trajectory aligned with our planets, to its physics-defying anti-tail, to its industrial-grade chemical signature, the object has consistently defied natural explanation. Loeb has quantified this uncertainty by placing it at a 4 out of 10 on his now-famous scale of artificiality, a rating that elevates the alien hypothesis from fiction to a credible, high-impact risk. Now, with the official story on the missing data wearing perilously thin, we are left with a dire confluence of events an expert warning of a potential maneuver, an object hidden behind the perfect screen of the sun, and a space agency withholding what may be the most important photograph ever taken. While Professor Loeb frames the imminent threat, crucial data presented by geoscientist Stefan Burns has added a new layer of terrifying precision to the scenario. Analysis of imagery from the GOES-19 satellite's coronagraph, captured between October 18th and 24th, confirms that 3i Atlas was, until just days ago, holding perfectly to its predicted gravitational path. This hard data decisively debunks the rampant online misinformation claiming the object had already performed a reverse thruster sequence and was headed for Earth. But this confirmation of stability provides no comfort. Instead, it systematically eliminates the possibility that the object is a chaotic, unpredictable natural phenomenon. An outgassing comet might tumble and deviate erratically. A craft under intelligent control would do exactly what we have just observed, maintain a perfect, fuel-efficient course right up to the mathematically optimal moment for a trajectory-altering burn. The coronagraph data does not suggest the object is safe. It suggests the object is a master of astrogation, and its gambit is yet to be played. 
as it accelerates to a peak velocity of 68 km per second at perihelion, it is reaching the point of maximum kinetic energy, the very moment the Oberth effect dictates that a propulsive burn would yield the greatest change in its final trajectory. The stability was not the story, it was the prelude. With a perihelion maneuver now established as a credible, data-grounded possibility, the question becomes, where would it go? While fear drives speculation towards Earth, a rigorous strategic analysis laid out in detail by Burns reveals this to be the least likely outcome. Earth is a high-risk, low-reward target, defended by a planetary immune system of 8 billion inhabitants and burdened by a deep gravity well that makes it a poor staging ground for further operations. A far more logical and strategically overwhelming target awaits the Jovian system. As Burns explains, 3i slash Atlas's current trajectory already takes it for a close pass of Jupiter in March 2026. A relatively minor and highly efficient Oberth maneuver at perihelion would be all that's needed to shift this trajectory from a flyby into a direct orbital insertion. To an interstellar colonizing force, seizing the Jovian system is the ultimate checkmate move for establishing permanent uncontested dominance in our solar system. 1. Ganymede, the self-sufficient crown jewel. The primary target is undoubtedly Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system it offers a suite of advantages unmatched by any other body. A natural radiation shield, it is the only moon with its own intrinsic magnetic field, providing vital protection from Jupiter's lethal radiation belts. Ready to use oxygen, its thin oxygen atmosphere could be harvested upon arrival for initial life support, allowing a colony to hit the ground running and an ocean of rocket fuel. Its vast subsurface ocean contains more water than all of Earth's oceans combined. This is a practically infinite source of hydrogen and oxygen, the most powerful chemical rocket fuel. And finally, the low gravity launch pad. With only 15% of Earth's gravity, Ganymede is the perfect deep space shipyard, allowing for the easy construction and launch of massive vessels to access the entire solar system. 2. An uncontested, resource-rich empire. The Jupiter system is an industrial paradise, with the water-rich moons of Europa and Callisto nearby, a colonizing force could establish a triad of powerful bases. Furthermore, Jupiter's gravitationally locked Trojan asteroids provide an unlimited, easily accessible supply of high-grade metals and minerals everything needed to build a self-sustaining industrial empire. From this fortified, untouchable position, an advanced entity could project power and explore the rest of our solar system with complete impunity. We possess no technology to challenge them. It is the perfect, logical, and strategically sound objective. Even as we focus on this potential maneuver towards Jupiter, Avi Loeb warns of a more insidious threat that may have already occurred. The primary object, he suggests, may not need to maneuver at all if its purpose was simply to act as a carrier. He posits it could still be that it releases some probes that go to the various planets and maneuver. The meticulously planned trajectory with close passes of Mars, Earth, and Jupiter on December 19th suddenly looks less like a grand tour and more like a series of scheduled deployment points. This horrifying possibility casts the withheld high-rise image in a new and even more sinister light. The data was captured during the Mars flyby. Did that ultra-high resolution photograph, currently locked away at NASA, capture such a deployment in action? The refusal to release the image nearly a month after it was taken can no longer be credibly explained by a bureaucratic shutdown. It strongly suggests that the image contains something so paradigm-shattering that authorities are struggling with the consequences of its disclosure. We may be focusing our gaze on a single mothership, while its smaller, stealthier children are already on their way. If we are witnessing the execution of a masterful colonization plan, who are the players? While Loeb considers the broader philosophical implications of ancient alien civilizations, 
Burns has identified a specific and disturbingly plausible point of origin, Bernard's star. Located just 5.96 light years away and known to host multiple planets, this red dwarf star system aligns positionally with 3i by Atlas's interstellar arrival vector. The travel time also matches. At the object's observed velocity, a journey from Bernard's star would take approximately 30,000 years, a vast but conceivable time frame for a generational arc or a technologically advanced sleeper ship. This theory, grounded in actual astronomical data, elevates our visitor from an abstract enigma to a potential emissary from our nearest cosmic neighbors. We have arrived at the final, critical hours. The data is clear. 3i by Atlas has demonstrated the precision of a controlled craft by maintaining a perfect orbit right up to this moment. The strategic logic is undeniable. The most valuable and logical prize is not a confrontation at Earth, but an uncontested checkmate at Jupiter. The warnings from our most credible experts are explicit, and the silence from our own institutions is deafening. In the coming days, as new observations pierce the glare of the sun, we will have our verdict. We will learn whether we have just witnessed a profound natural wonder or the execution of a plan so ancient, so intelligent, and so far beyond our comprehension that it will change the future of humanity forever. The perihelion gambit is in play. The watch is on.